Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very kid-like, I don't know, very exciting, it might be more exciting to me than it is to you, but this is my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. I watch Christmas movies non-stop from Thanksgiving, probably past Christmas. Yeah, but these are my top 10. They're actually a little bit more than 10, but I pretty much just put them in categories. Um, a lot of them are collections, so you can't break those up. You gotta get the full Christmas bang of Yuletide bliss. What, page? Also, I wanted to start incorporating for the month of December a question of the day. So the question of the day is, what is your favorite Christmas movie? Mm-hmm, I'll wait, go ahead. Put it down below in the comment area. So now that you've told me what your favorite Christmas movie is, I'll go ahead and enjoy my top 10 favorite Christmas movies. Okay, so the first movie is going to be Elf. Um, hello, it's hilarious. Um, Will Ferrell is ridiculously, like, he's just a big idiot. Like, he fit this character so well. It is hilarious. It's good for all ages. Um... I just love it. I mean, it really gets you into spirit, and if him in some little tights and an elf outfit doesn't get you laughing, then I don't know what will. Next up is going to be the Santa Claus one, two, and three. Um, I love all of them. Sometimes you know how um, like the second or the third movie starts to get a little, uh, and you don't really like it anymore. Um, this isn't the case. Um, I love the second one and the third one. Of course, number one has my heart, just like a lot of other movies. But I do love all three in this collection. Um, Tim Allen is one of my favorites in everything he's ever played in. I love him in everything, TV shows, movies, whatever. But the Santa Claus collection is definitely a must for Christmas. Next up is another collection, and it is Home Alone 1 and 2. I don't like the third one because it's a different little boy and I just think it's just it's just not the same. Um, I'm sure there are people that like the third one but it's just not my cup of tea. Um, little Macaulay Culkin plays this part to a T. He is hilarious in this. I love the first one and, and I love the second one. Both are, are, they have a lot of similarities but they are different. Um, they really do get you in the Christmas spirit. We are going to New York this December, so I'm super excited. So I will be watching this, um, well, both of them before we go, just to really get me prepared for New York. So, um, yeah, definitely watch number one and number two of Home Alone. Next up is Jingle All the Way with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, Neger, however you use Schwarzenegger. I don't know, I don't know how to pronounce his last name. Um, but I love this movie. I mean, he is a little iffy on the acting side. Side, but I think he fits this role perfectly and I just think it's so funny um, I don't want to give it away but just to let you know he like goes to the ends of the earth to try to get this thing for this person and it's just I think it's funny I haven't seen it in quite a while I do want to add it to my Christmas collection of DVDs next up is the Muppet Christmas Carol there are so many versions of the Christmas Carol but the Muppets is definitely one of my favorites um, I just love the Muppets in general I think they're hilarious the concept of them is hilarious Miss Piggy and Kermit have my heart I love them she is diva to the max and I I love it. I think it's so funny and their rendition of the Christmas Carol is one of my favorites. Like I said, there are so many versions, but I love this one. Number six is The Grinch Stole Christmas or How the Grinch Stole Christmas, however it's phrased. I love the old one and I also love the new one. Um, I love Jim Carrey and they picked the perfect person for the role of The Grinch. They could, I couldn't think of anybody better to suit this part. I mean, it's fantastic. Of course, the oldie is the oldie but a goodie. Um, but just the way that they twisted it around and recreated it, I am obsessed. I love all of the music. I love everything. All the little jokes in the movie, I'm obsessed with. I do have this one in my collection, and we watch it every year, if not more than once. So definitely get the green. Next up are going to be the classic Christmas movie collection. And I wanted to pretty much put these all in one, because there's so many of them, and I had more Christmas movies that I wanted to mention. But first is A Year Without Santa Claus. 
I love this one because of um, the hot guy and the cold guy. I can't ever remember what their name is. Frostmeyer and something else. But I love this one. I just think it's it's it just makes you feel like a kid again. And I just, I love that feeling, obviously, because I'm obsessed with Disney. But um, I love this movie. Next classic is Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Hello, you gotta watch the classic one from the Family Home Entertainment. Um, my mama has all the VHSs, that's how you know it's legit and it's old school but it's one of my favorites it's traditional christmas it doesn't get any better the next one is santa claus is coming to town i love how they pretty much tell the story of how santa claus became um but it's just another one of those traditional christmas movies that you cannot go through the christmas season without watching another one is frosty the snowman this is another one that's been redone a couple times but the traditional old school one i think it's from like 1969 or something is my favorite happy birthday i love it i think it's so cute uh so definitely watch the first frosty the snowman and the last classic christmas movie is jack frost there's like a new Jack Frost. It's like with real people in it that they've redone. And it's pretty good. Um, it's not on this list. But the one I'm talking about is the old school, traditional, classic Christmas one. I just think it's, it's it just makes you feel like a kid. I think all of these, I mean, hello, make you feel like a kid again because it's Christmas. But definitely give that one a watch. Number eight is Christmas with the Cranks. Of course, Tim Allen would make another debut on my favorite Christmas movie list. It's one of my favorites. It's hilarious when he gets Botox. Y'all, I laugh till I cry. And I know it's coming and I still laugh every single time. It is hilarious. And it's on Netflix, so if you have Netflix, go search it right now and watch it. You'll thank me later. Number nine is a Charlie Brown Christmas. And this is sort of classic, but not necessarily classic. They do show this one every year on TV. Um, my mama just loves it when it comes on. She just, oh, like she makes little whimpering noises the entire time and it is just the funniest thing ever. But we love those old traditional Christmas movies and Charlie Brown, every holiday we love every seasonal show or movie he's ever had so that's definitely one to check out and number 10 is a new christmas movie and it is arthur christmas i actually went to the movies a couple years ago and watched it when it was there and surprisingly enough i loved it even more than i thought i would i was actually able to get it this past black friday at a walmart their big dvd sale that they had i want to say got it for like either two or three dollars so that was a steal it's really good um it's good for all ages it's not necessarily for kids or for grown-ups so i love this one if you're if you have a family and you all want to get together and watch it shoot i can watch any christmas movie regardless of the age <laughs> i hope you guys have a beautiful and blessed day and merry christmas